guys you see when a woman sees the value in you as a man she starts to invest in you so i know you're used to investing in the woman you know you're kind of you're taking her taking her out, out on dates you know buying all this shit you, you spending a lot of time on the phone you're doing all these bunch of shits when she sees your value she starts to invest in you she starts to offering to take you out on dates she starts to buy you things she starts to want to spend time with you instead of you trying to get her time instead of you trying to take her out instead of you trying to buy her stuff she starts to invest the moment a woman starts to make an investment in you is the moment she realizes you're valuable and she sees that you are valuable enough for her to invest more in you and that's what I'm used to you see I don't deal with women who because this this is the thing you know it's because women are used to a certain thing she automatically assumes every guy is the same or every guy she comes in contact with is going to be the same because that's what she's used to the average the average cookie cutter guy you know same 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 patterns everything is the same there's no difference so when she meets a guy like me and she realizes that this is like a different kettle of fish she now has to make the decision based on her intentions she has to make the decision hey do i want to use this guy because i mean i got a bill to pay but hey, he's not he's not gonna He's not gonna spoil me, he's not gonna shower me with gifts, he's not gonna pay my bills. And that's what I want right now. So I'm just gonna go over there to the looks money status guy. The guy who has low self-esteem and low self-worth, who I can take advantage of. You she women know who they can take advantage of. Women know who they can play certain games with because they see they can smell it they see it it doesn't matter the age it doesn't matter the race it doesn't matter the height the color it doesn't is it's, it's a internal thing it's a mindset thing so a woman will treat me and you totally different so over here she's treating you like shit because she doesn't respect you and she's she's calling you a whole bunch of names she's like she's 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 just acting the most but when she's with me because i know who i am and because i have my rules standards and my laws automatically she's going to make adjustments so it's not a case where the woman changes she makes adjustment based on who she's dealing with because a woman know who she's dealing with when she comes in contact with a man she so she knows hey and nah, okay, i can't try this shit and she even might try it she might bite the gold to test if it's real because a lot of guys front a lot of guys put up a mask to act like hey I, I, i'm a tough guy or hey i'm, I'm this type of man and when she tests you you fold and she said oh no it was just a mask and she even loses more respect for you because you did a live up to the expectations you see so when a when a woman sees the value in you she invests in you instead and that's one of the luxury of being a man 
what's up guys i there we are again with our next video on tricking now when it comes to tricking a lot of guys trick indirectly more than directly when you really look at it a lot of guys are tricks and they don't even know that they are tricks tricking basically means you using your resources you know your money your status your clothes your car your, any any materialistic possession that you, that you have anything that's outside of you you want to use as leverage in order to possibly get sex from a woman or possibly get attention and time from a woman that's basically tricking anything you use outside of yourself is tricking so it's, it's like you're trying to cheat the game and you can't cheat the game and if you cheat the game you're gonna get the results that shows that you cheated the game all right so when a guy thinks that he needs to use his money in order to get the woman he desires when a guy thinks that he has to take a woman on several dates when a guy thinks that he has to buy her gifts and food and clothes and bags and whatever she wants when he thinks he has to wear clothes and jewelry not for himself but to impress the woman to let her think in his mind she's thinking oh he's so fly i wanna fuck him right now All right not saying none of those things you have outside of yourself is irrelevant it has its purpose right but when you try to use everything outside of yourself instead of yourself you're basically tricking and you're not being you because your money isn't you your clothes isn't you your car isn't you your house isn't you how many followers you have on instagram isn't you none of that is you those are just what you do and i always talk about the i do and the i am what you do is different from who you are so a lot of guys actually trick not knowing that they are tricks because they have indoctrinated the simp mentality they have subscribed to simp mentality thinking that hey this is the only way that I have to do things in order to get what I want even though doing that that doesn't necessarily mean that you get what you want because check this whenever you do use any of those exterior strategy even if you quote unquote get a girl that girl isn't with you because of who you are she's with you because of what you offered what you showed her that you are about and if you if you're just about your money and your clothes and your car she's just going to use you as that because that's the only value you showed that you have and as a man you can't define yourself you can't define your value you can't see yourself valuable through your material possessions because strip yourself down naked right now without anything else in the world you're supposed to be as valuable as before and there's this is where a lot of guys get the thing twisted they think that they are their money or they are their clothes and all of that stuff so when you get a woman now who is with you because you've used that to get her and then down the line she ends up
the only line she ends up disrespecting you dogging you out basically shitting on you because there is nothing to respect so consciously on an actual level a woman is only going to respect a man she's not going to respect your money or your clothes because all those things are materialistic and coming from a nature point of view subconsciously we don't respect those stuff that's why if you give a child a toy today they'll like hug it up but next week you see it's over there in the trash yeah because it's it's materialistic it's, there is it's nothing to be respected until unless they have some form of attachment to it but overall materialistic things aren't supposed to be pedestalized because it's it's it, it, it's it's not valuable enough as you are valuable as a man so you don't need to use any of those stuff but you see when when guys think that they aren't enough they think that they have to get more and more and more and more when you haven't seen that you are enough but all you have to do is just know that you are enough know that you are good enough you are the man and you work towards being better and better each day but a lot of guys are lazy so not because you have money and clothes and cars and status means that you're not lazy you're lazy because you want to use that to get what you want instead of working on yourself you see working on yourself takes a lot more work than making money trust me working on yourself takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of determination it takes a lot of consistency because it's something you has you have to do every day being a man is is you don't get a day off from being a man no, you don't get a day off from working on yourself and being the man you don't so a lot of guys know they just, they just go the opposite way and try to use everything else but work smarter and not harder and using all your resources outside of yourself is working harder because you have to maintain all of those stuff and at the end of the day you're still not getting the result you want because the woman don't respect you right and you see a lot of guys now guys I'm gonna talk about myself for a minute <laughs> alright I've been with multiple women and I've never yet taken them out on a dinner date no I tell you guys wouldn't believe that but you see when you believe in yourself when you stand on who you are you don't need anything else outside of you and you see the mistake you guys make is you listen to women too much you care about what they want too much so you try to adjust your life and live your life based off on what you hear and what you think women want and as a man you shouldn't give a fuck about what they want because it's all about you it's what you want what do you want you as the leader should prioritize your wants and needs first because the man comes first so you are you anything you put above yourself is basically pedestalizing and you devalue yourself when you do that 
so you see yourself less so if you see yourself less than you don't have any other chance than using everything else outside of you because you don't think you're good enough so you listen to what these women say they want oh buy me flowers take me on dates you know buy me gifts i love gifts my love language is uh, is time and affirmation and gifts and i'm i'm high standard so you gotta take me on dates i don't like cheap men i don't like men who don't like to spoil their woman and you feed into that but you don't understand that you see if you're a man you would know that none of that now have nothing to do with you that shit don't got nothing to do with me she ain't talking about me she's talking about the looks money status guy the guy who is insecure in himself who thinks he has to do all of that to get her in the first place she's talking about that guy that guy that guy who has low self low self confidence, low self worth, low self esteem, try to use everything else, everything outside of himself, other than himself. She's talking about him because he's the mark. I would say the mark, meaning he's like you're the you're you've auto selected yourself to be used and abused and disrespected because and because of the route that you've taken you know because you don't understand yourself and you don't understand women you see if you cared about what you want and you were sure about who you are a woman who wants you for you is going to want you she don't care about how much money you make she don't care about the clothes you wear she don't care about the car if you drive a car or not she don't care about anything outside of you more than you because you are enough because you are what she likes you are the person who she falls in love with because that's what you stood on you stood on yourself and who you are you didn't use any money or anything like that so that is genuine attraction and nothing beats genuine attraction guys nothing beats genuine attraction genuine genuine original organic quintessential nothing beats that so these dates and all those shit that's not genuine that's a woman basically telling you hey i don't think you're good enough so you have to make it up with the dates and the gifts and the time and the attention you have to make it up with that because you're not good enough so i'm not gonna settle for you because you're not good enough so you gotta come with something else and those are the guys who aren't sure of who they are you see guys i've been with multiple women and i've never taken a woman out on a date before right I've this is not popping my collar or bragging or anything but this is just to make a point I've slept with over 30 women right in my young age and none of those 30 women have ever asked me hey you gotta take me on a date so we can do this or hey you gotta buy me this so we can do that the moment a woman threat that because i take that as a threat the woman the moment a woman threatens you 
to do something in order for her to do something she's basically showing she doesn't like you she's not into you she's not feeling you so hey if you if you if you want if you still want me you gotta put something else there you're not enough and then these guys now complain afterwards saying oh these girls are wicked they're evil because you know i've i've, I've taken her taken her out on uh, like a bunch of dates and she gonna tell me oh we, we, we're gonna just gonna be friends i don't i, I don't i'm not feeling it like that and I, you know, after I spent so much money, she she giving me the runaround. She never liked you at first, bro. And you see, you don't know women enough to know when they are not feeling you. You can't read social cues. You can't read body language, and you don't know yourself. And you see, because you don't know genuine attraction, you can't detect genuine attraction so you think just because a woman is giving you attention she is genuinely attracted to you but no she's attracted to the resources that you're dangling in her face she already know you ain't shit but i mean like a woman is gonna be a woman she's gonna take the money she's gonna take the dates she's gonna take the attention so you talking on the phone over an hour with her about nothing. You spending time with her, cuddling, watching movies, chilling. When you know, you know deep down you just want to fuck. But because that's what she wants, you think, hey, that's a way to, to get him them jobs. And you got it wrong. You know? You think buying her flowers is gonna get what you want and you've invested so much resources in this woman your money your time your attention your energy and she haven't invested anything she's just taking she's just taking she's just taking because she realizes that you really don't have anything to offer other than your resource you don't know how to make her smile. You don't know how to make her laugh. You don't know how to make her feel. And if you know women, you know women love to feel. Because women are emotional. So you don't know how to tap into emotions. But if you knew how to tap into your emotions, as a man, you would know how to tap into her emotion because anything you're doing with a woman you have to know how to do your do it, do it with yourself you have to see yourself as beautiful you have to see yourself as sexy before you even look at a woman and call her sexy or beautiful you might say oh kind of i'm not gay you see you don't know self-love that doesn't mean you're gonna like shove a dildo in your ass or anything like that it's nothing homophobic it's about knowing who you are looking in the mirror and said yo you're a handsome guy i love you you're the man you know you've never spoken to yourself that way so how are you going to look at a woman and tell her that she's beautiful and she's so sexy and she's so gorgeous when she knows she ain't shit she knows she's full of insecurity and she have low self-worth and low self-esteem but look at this you're not even talking about the woman you're not calling the woman beautiful or sexy you're looking at her makeup you're looking at the defended the, the fashion over push up the, the high waist jeans and you're looking at the heels that makes her hips go wider you're looking at the falls here the eyelashes the push up bras the nails the lipstick 
that's what you're calling sexy and beautiful you're not looking at the woman so you're not even looking at the woman you are looking at the makeup the eyelash the weave the nails the push-up bra the heels that pushes her thighs out the high high waist fashion over jeans that makes her ass look bigger and all that little stuff that's what you're looking at and calling her beautiful that's what you're looking at and calling her sexy you're not looking at the woman because if you were looking at the woman you would know how to talk to her you'd want to know what can you do for me to me for me to look at you as sexy what is there more than ass and tits that can show me that you're valuable just as though you're just using your resources so ask yourself apart from your resources what makes you valuable so if you're not asking yourself that question you're not gonna ask the woman that question so you're just gonna look at the face value and you say oh she's so hot man and this woman knows she ain't shit because she don't believe in herself she have low self-worth and that's why she she wears all those shit and because she knows that you have low self-worth and low self-esteem also she's going to use that against you so it's like it's like a piece in a pot it's like you, you guys are meant to be but you see when a man knows who he is all those stuff that a woman does all those things that she put on that doesn't impress him first of all a man doesn't even he doesn't even like that because he's looking past that he's looking looking at the beauty that is within her but you see even she can't even fathom that if a man comes to her that way because she's so used to guys looking at the face value when a man say hey i'm trying to see what's behind all the makeup and the hair and all of that and see the beauty inside of you she, she, she can't a lot of times she can't she can't even process that it flies over her her head because it's not she doesn't she doesn't run run into a man every day she doesn't run into a man who demands more from her than just pussy and that's a lot that's a problem with, with, with a lot of guys you guys just want pussy you guys just want mommy you want a woman to just hang out with you know you just want someone to rub your head and rub your back and you feel all butterflies and you think yeah that's how it is that's how it's supposed to be so in my opinion guys who trick are guys who don't know themselves and are guys who have low self-esteem and low self-worth and until you get to know yourself until you've ventured into self-discovery and actually know your worth as a man you're only going to see that method as the only way out which it isn't the really a way out because you're not winning you're still losing so it comes down to these guys just opening their eyes and realizing that they are enough you are enough i know i am enough that's why i don't give a fuck what a woman has to say about me or anyone in the, in that matter because the moment you care about what people say about you is the moment you've put them over yourself 
and anything you put over yourself you worship anything you worship you see as better than you 